Okay, it's just taking a while. Now, Trisha, you've got a testimony to share from the last time when we were at Day Spring and you had press. That was about three years ago. It'd be about 23 and five years ago. Oh, yes. okay, maybe yeah. the first time we came then, yeah? yes? Yes. So what happened? Um, well, what happened was one night um, I had this pain in my chest and it got worse and worse and worse and worse and I just, something about this, I wasn't recuperating so I rang the hospital and I asked them for some advice and they said to me, stay there, we're sending an ambulance. So the ambulance came um, and they rushed me to the hospital and it was inflammation around the heart. I was actually drowning in my fluids. All the fluid had gone into the sack of my heart. So anyway, I started this, I went to the doctors, they gave me medication, put me in hospital. The medication kept me, but it didn't cure me. And then a friend brought me here where John was um, scheduled to speak here at Dayspring. And anyway, I was so weak that I could not even barely stand. I had to lay down on the chairs. He called up, he said to come out if you were in pain. I was in pain. I had pain around the heart. He took authority over it, broke it, and the pain left. And from that moment, I started to improve. Now, when I went to the specialist um, before that healing, I had to be wheeled in a wheelchair because I couldn't stand up more than 10 minutes. Mm. And he said to me, what have you been doing? And I told him I'd been doing some dietary stuff. And then when I went in the second time, I walked in and the specialist's head flung around and he said, what happened to you? Because he wanted me to go see a neurologist because I couldn't move. There was other things that were happening. And I told him that, I, I said, I, he said, I know you said diet was part of it. And I said, yes. But I said, it was only keeping me. It didn't break it through. And I said, John prayed for me. And that's when I got the breakthrough. And he goes, whatever. But I knew that the specialist took notice of it because there was no, it was impossible. Mm. And he knew it because he said to me, he was in shock. So what was your prognosis without getting prayer, for example? If, if in the natural, what would have happened? Well, I, I don't know exactly what would have happened. He didn't actually say, but you drown in your fluids. There's, there's like uh, water around the heart um, and they couldn't contain it. So, and then what happened, they said that once you've had pericarditis, there's scarring. After John prayed for me, I had tests no scarring. There was nothing, not Amazing. a scar left. Yes. What brings on a condition like that? In, they say it's um, uh, like a, what do you call it, um, not anti inflammatory yep. reasons. I can't, they couldn't pinpoint it exactly, neither could I, but I did change my diet a great deal. But it wasn't, it didn't uh, rectify until John prayed for me. When he prayed for me, that's when it broke through. Awesome. Yep. And it's totally and I, restored. I got my strength back gradually over a period of time. Wow. But the pain went ex exactly on that night, completely disappeared. Excellent. Yep. Thanks so, for sharing that, Trisha. It's awesome testimony. Well, I forgot all about it. So yeah. when you said it tonight, I thought I'll thank John and I'll come and I'll say Good something. Good on you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Pleasure. I can do anything. I can do all things. Cause it's you who gives me strength.